Security Publicist Max Clifford D.I's while imp.risen for S.exul A.salt. London, disgraced celebrity publicist Max Clifford, a confidant to the stars who fell from grace amid Britain's investigation of past sexual abuse, died Sunday after collapsing in prison. He was 74. Once one of the most powerful figures in British entertainment, Clifford was convicted in 2014 of eight counts of indecent assault stemming from attacks on teenagers dating back more than 40 years. He was serving an eight-year prison sentence at Littley Prison in Cambridgeshire when he died, Britain's Ministry of Justice said. Harvey Weinstein, the most gargantuan example of disrespect, Meryl Streep says more. A complete list of the 83 Harvey Weinstein accusers Clifford was once as well known as the people he represented, the go-to guy for celebrities looking to limit the damage from drug problems, legal issues or declining popularity. His clients included TV mogul Simon Cowell and former Herod's owner Muhammad al fayed as well as dozens of ordinary people who found themselves in the news vortex and sought to sell their stories to the press, a common practice in Britain. The public relations guru was arrested in December 2012 amid allegations that he lured girls as young as 14 into sex by offering them acting roles. Clifford immediately swung into damage control mode, vowing to clear his name of the charges, some of which stemmed from the 1970s and 80s. The allegations in respect of which I have been charged are completely false, very upsetting, very distressing, but completely false he told reporters outside his home at the time. I have never indecently assaulted anyone in my life, and this will become clear during the course of the proceedings. Clifford was arrested as part of an investigation called Operation Utree, a wide-ranging inquiry into allegations of past offences spurred by the case of Jimmy Seville, a well-known British entertainer accused of abusing hundreds of girls and women. He died in 2011. The Seville case shocked Britain and embarrassed his employer, the BBC, which was accused of killing an investigation into Seville's alleged crimes. The resulting upheaval is comparable to the stream of sexual misconduct allegations leveled at American actors, politicians and media personalities following revelations about Hollywood producer Harvey Weinstein. Before he was arrested. Clifford told the Associated Press that he was receiving calls from many celebrities and entertainers who were worried they would be caught up in the widening civil investigation. They're phoning me and saying, Max, I'm worried that I'm going to be implicated, Clifford said at the time. A lot of them can't remember what they did last week, never mind 30 or 40 years ago. Clifford's daughter Louise told the Mail on Sunday that her father first collapsed on Thursday as he was trying to tidy his prison cell. He collapsed again the following day and was taken to a hospital, where suffered a heart attack. She told the newspaper he had been in a bad way in a critical care unit. It was just too much, she said.